हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू नवनीरत क्लासेस बाय राधिका महाजन टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज 14 प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मैनेजमेंट गिवन बाय हेनरी फ्योर हेनरी फ्योर इज नोन एज द फादर ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एज ही वाज द फर्स्ट वन टू आइडेंटिफाई फोर फंक्शंस ऑफ मैनेजमेंट प्लानिंग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग डायरेक्टिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग Henry Fuel developed his own concept of administration. He has given 14 principles of management which are as First, division of work. According to Fuel, if work is divided into small tasks and assigned to trained specialist, then it will help in taking the advantage of specialization. Because of this principle an organization is divided into separate departments that is production sales finance marketing etc If we follow this principle then positive effects are repeated performance by an individual leads to specialization less wastage of resources efficiency and effectiveness of work and if we violated this then there is a lack of specialization wastage of resources and inefficient operations second authority and responsibility authority means the right to give orders and responsibility means obligation to complete the assigned task on time according to fuel there must be a balance between authority and responsibility excess of authority without matching responsibility may result in misuse of authority whereas excess responsibility without adequate authority may lead to failure of organizational goals if we follow this principle then with then positive effects are with proper responsibility there will be no misuse of authority with proper authority there will be timely completion of task quick decision making and if we uh, violated this principle then results are it may lead to misuse of authority subordinate will not able to complete the task effectively it may lead to delay in decision making third discipline discipline is obedience to the organizational rules and employment agreements which are necessary for the working of an organization it also implies harmonious relationship between the management and workers according to fuel discipline requires good superiors at all levels clear and fair agreements and judicious applications of penalties no organization can work without proper discipline if we follow this then it helps in smooth working in the organization it helps to improve efficiency as work is done as per the rules and standards orderliness in the organization and if we violated this then unhealthy relation between workers and managers smooth performance of work will be adversely affected chaos in the organization fourth unity of command it implies that every worker should receive orders and instructions from one superior only otherwise it will create confusion conflicts disturbance and overlapping of activities it affects the functioning of an employee it emphasizes the need for each subordinate to be accountable to one superior only if we followed it then no confusion regarding work to be done no conflicts among superiors 
the subordinate is answerable to one person only and if we violated this then confusion among workers regarding work to be done conflicts among the superiors order and discipline gets disturbed fifth unity of direction it implies that there should be one head and one plan for a group of activities having the same objective all or the related activities should be put under one group and they should be in the control of one manager if we followed it then it ensures unity of action among various groups it helps in coordination facilitates achievement of goals if we violated it then duplication of efforts and wastage of resources lack of coordination failure in achievement of goals sixth remuneration of employee according to fuel the quantum and methods of remuneration payable to employees should be fair and reasonable it should be satisfactory to both employers and employees which give them a reasonable standard of living and should be within the paying capacity of the company if we followed this then it motivate the employees and keep them satisfied it reduce labor absenteeism and turnover it helps to improve relations between managers and workers if we violated it then absence of adequate or fair remuneration creates dissatisfaction among employees increase labor turnover and cost of recruitment unhealthy relations between managers and workers seventh centralization and decentralization when the power to take decisions rest with the top management it is called centralization and when the powers to take decisions is given to the person performing the job is called decentralization according to fuel an organization should strive to achieve a proper balance between centralization and decentralization according to the size of organization ability of superiors ability of subordinate etc if we followed this then decentralization facilitates quick decision making avoiding delays in operations avoid misuse of authority centralization ensures optimal decision making in court matters and if we violated it then complete centralization leads to delay in decision making and action and complete decentralization leads to misuse of authority eighth subordination of individual interest to general interest the interest of one person should not take priority over the interest of the organization as a whole the purpose of this principle is to integrate the individual goals with the organizational goals in such a manner that both the objectives are accomplished with efficiency and effectiveness if we followed this then there is a coordination between organizational and personal goals it facilitates achievement of organizational goals employees are more focused towards group goals in order to get personal benefits and if we violated it then 
achievement of organizational goals become difficult employees may be adversely affected later on ninth scalar chain according to fuel scalar chain refers to the chain of authority and communication that runs from top to bottom and should be followed by managers and their subordinates gangplank is the exception of the principle of scalar chain this concept was developed to establish a direct contact with the employee of equal rank in case of emergency to avoid delay in communication if we followed this then it facilitates smooth flow of communication unity of command principle is followed no confusion on account of dual subordination and if we violated it then multiplicity of command may create confusion in operation no clarity about authority and responsibility relationship miscommunication or gaps in communication 10th order according to this principle there should be an orderly arrangement and specific place for everything and everyone in the organization if we followed this no wastage of time and efforts in search of man or material no obstacle in smooth running of operation increased efficiency and productivity and if we violated it then obstacles in smooth working wastage of time and efforts unnecessarily 11th equity this principle talk about kindness and justice in the behavior of manager towards workers it will bring loyalty and devotions in the behavior of employees and they will put their best to achieve organizational goals there should be no discrimination against any one on account of sex religion language caste or beliefs and equal opportunities should be available for all if we followed this then it ensures loyalty among the workers cordial relations between workers and managers congenial atmosphere within the organization and if we violated this then dissatisfaction among employees leading to great turnover poor relations between workers and managers 12th stability of personnel according to this principle fuel insisted that an employee must be kept at a post for a minimum fixed tenure this would help him to produce effective result ensure stability and pro- and produce his ability if we followed this then it encourage job security in the organization increased motivation of employees reduction in labor turnover and expenses on recruitment selection and training and if we violated it then increase in labor turnover increase in job insecurity and employees tend to leave job frequently increased cost of recruitment 13 initiative initiative means taking the first step with self motivation fuel suggested that employees at all levels should take initiative or action without any force or foundations 
they should be encouraged to develop and carry out plans for improvements if we followed it then it result in motivation of employees it increase efficiency and productivity improvements in operations and if we violated it then frustration and dissatisfaction among employees exist no motivations for improvements as per the cop it means team spirit and team work Fuel suggested that the organization should be considered as a team and all the employees as its members. This help to develop a feeling of belongingness among them and thus each of them contribute to the achievement of the organizational goals. For this manager should replace i with v the positive effects are it helps in developing feeling of trust and belongingness among employees easily achievement of goals and if we violated this then it results in failure in achievement of goals lack of coordination in the organization thank you for watching this video